Hello and welcome to today's big summer try on haul for 2022. I have one beautiful rail of new in pieces to share with you all from the likes of Reese, Arquette, Oasis, Suzanne, Mango, Revolve, Demelier, and two blow the budget pieces of swimwear for my summer holidays. It's a jam-packed haul for summer with so many chic and timeless outfits, we really should get started. Now I actually took about a week to choose the pieces for this summer haul. I had a list of what I needed and I feel like I looked at virtually everything across the high street with the designers and with the independents. I definitely considered my pieces wisely. So at Reese I went for something very simple and chic for my top half with this ribbed cotton vest top that you can see I'm wearing today. Now though I say simple, the beauty as always is in the details. From the fine ribbed viscose they've used with just the right amount of stretch to this interesting asymmetrical shape across my chest and my shoulders that very handily is wide enough to cover any side bulges. I really do hate when vests scoop so much that you get that big blob at the side of your armpit. Not my most attractive look. So all round a really gorgeous fit. Love the shape and beautiful quality for £58. Now though I got a little bit distracted by Reese's dresses, as I often do, I actually then went for this pair of trousers I'm wearing in this stunning shade of pale pink. I did toy with the blue because I thought it was really pretty. I love the white and the oatmeal, but I already have something very similar to those. But in the end, it was the pink that stole my heart. Now these have been made from sustainable lyocell, linen and cotton, and they've got this tailored pleat down the front. The back, as you can see in this footage, is elastic which I thought was a nice touch. And I went with my usual UK 10. Now, as you'll have seen in these clips, you could style both pieces in many different ways. They're both hugely timeless, just those perfect high quality staples that you'd end up having in your wardrobe for years. And as vest tops are going to be one of the big fashion trends for autumn, winter 22, I'm getting stocked up a little bit early. Now next up I have another new pair of trousers to share, this time in this gorgeous deep shade of khaki. Is it even summer if we don't have at least a sprinkle of this tone? I personally love it. It just mixes so nicely with all those fresh whites and beiges, but I also really love this shade against all my favourite brown tones. The lovely difference with this pair compared to other khaki trousers that I've seen recently would be the fabric composition. Now it's been made from a mix of linen, cotton and elastin, so they're absolutely perfect for hot summer days. And they're really smart too, with this sharp looking press fold down the centre of the leg. And belt hooks too, so you can add a belt, change up the styling a little bit. I like when you've got that option. Now I went with a size 36 and I really like the fit. It's very slightly slouchy, but I definitely wouldn't describe them as oversized. They're just a very relaxed but sophisticated pair of summer trousers in this gorgeous shade of green. Love them. Now hopefully you saw my new Suzanne haul that I did last week, I think it was. If you missed that, I shall add a link in the description box below. But there was two items that actually arrived separately, so I can show you those now. The first of which was another staple that I needed for my wardrobe, a lovely new silk camisole. My previous black one that I got from Cami, New York City, was starting to look a little bit tired, to be honest, so I did need an upgrade. And having already bought this exact Cami in the Accru before, I knew that it's been made to last. So fabric wise, it's been made from 100% silk. It has this pretty little bit of lace and embroidery detail just around the trim. And then of course, these thin spaghetti straps. The other item I went for would be something that I've had my eye on for months, this beautiful pair of shorts. High-waisted, belted, and made from a lovely textured cotton. They actually feel far more expensive than they were. Now I wanted a pair of shorts that I could wear in a really casual way throughout summer, but also something that I could switch up a little bit and make it look a bit more smarter and more polished. And these shorts absolutely fit the bill. I actually think that's in part because of this beautiful fabric. I think it looks really luxe, just that extra bit special. I don't think they make one, but I'd actually really like to get a matching blazer to go with these as well. I think that would make a really chic look. For now though, I am very pleased with all of my Cezanne purchases. And for those of you who are coming to my cocktail evening, at Cezanne in a couple of weeks time. I cannot wait to have a bit of a girly shop with you all in the store. I wouldn't say I am hugely keen on showing my bod on camera. However, these items are so gorgeous, I just have to show you. So I spoiled myself two 
This beautiful bikini from London brand Alexandra Miro and I am in love. Now I've actually bought a swimsuit too, which I shall show you in a mo, but sadly I can't afford to keep both. So I really need you to help me decide which one I should go for. So the bikini is underwired and it's got padded cups. And for someone who is pretty flat chested, I think it's giving me a really nice shape on my chest. Now, although it is available in a couple of different colorways, I decided to go for this quite vintage looking emerald green with the white polka dots. I love that bow at the front and I would say size wise going with a small, the fit is perfect. It is tight, but I think I could just about get away with it. The matching bikini bottoms are high rise, which I quite like in a bikini. I love the addition of the belt and her signature buckle in the middle there. I think that really polishes them off perfectly while at the same time, of course, defining my waist just that bit more. Now the website did suggest sizing up in the bottom portion as they come up a bit small, so I am wearing a medium here. She also has the most stunning cover-up available in the same print, but I did have to force myself to pretend that doesn't exist. So the other option I chose is this halter neck belted swimsuit with this deep V that comes down the front here. Now the fabric on this is more textured than the polka dot bikini. You've got padding in that chest section as well, and that same beautiful quality and attention to detail really. Now, although I went for it in the emerald, it is also available in black and then a sort of pink leopard print, which I thought was really cool. So personal taste really with your favorite shade. I think they are both incredibly chic and timeless and quality wise, I know I will have them for years, but I really can't decide which one I should go for. So if you do have a favorite, please do let me know in the comment section below because I could definitely do with some opinions on this one. Next up in this summer try-on haul, I have what I think is one perfect cover-up. I may be proud as punch with my new swimwear, but that doesn't mean that I won't want to have a little bit of dignity when I pop for lunch around the pool. And this lovely number can help me do it in style. Now it's been made from a brand that was actually new to me, but like I mentioned, I feel like I window shopped the entire world for this particular summer haul. So I did come across lots of gorgeous new collections. Now, as you can imagine, I fell straight away for that particular amber shade and made from viscose and cotton I thought it would be perfect for the heat and just being able to pull it on and go will make it super easy as a cover-up just to throw on I really love that deep V down the chest that then meets at that knot it nips in at my waist skims over my hips perfectly it's a simple dress really but I think that combination of that tone the texture of the fabric and that shape just makes it feel that extra little bit special and chic. Now I'm keeping it regardless, but I'm also going to have a plate styling it for the evening too and see if I can make that work. I will let you know on that one, but I'm imagining it could work really nicely for dinner, drinks, etc. too. Now onto something vastly different from my quite glamorous looking swimwear, but it has to be said, no less practical for summer holidays. One perfect beach throw on dress. Something I know deep down that I will probably wear on repeat. I did have something similar to this last summer, I think it was, um, that I bought from Zara. But to be honest, the quality really wasn't that great and it didn't wash very well. It looked really tired quite quickly. So I really wanted to find something in a nicer fabric composition with that shape that I love and I think I found the perfect one from our cat. So this has been made from organic French terry cotton. You've got pretty long and nice wide sleeves there, and it has got a really oversized shape with a bonus of pockets, which we all love. Now thinking of practicality, I would wear this on holiday over my swimsuit when I'm heading to the pool. I'd wear it chilling back in the room afterwards or just at home around the house. I could add a belt and make it have more shape for day wear or even maybe style it with trainers and a denim jacket over the top for another casual look. So lots of options really, but the reality is it's just a great staple dress that I know I would wear an awful lot in summer and I'm very happy to have found one in such a lovely quality. Now, while the minimalist look is one of the big fashion trends for summer 2022, I personally believe if you do decide to invest, you'll find that it's one trend that's incredibly timeless for your wardrobe at the same time. Unlike cutouts, which could date relatively quickly, a beautifully simple, elegant, and quite minimal dress would not look out of place in five years time. And I must say, I do feel really nice in this dress. I love the slip dress shape, the spaghetti straps with that racer back. And though I am a little bit pasty white at the minute, 
Once I've got a bit of a tan, I think it will look even nicer. Add a blazer for something more of a timeless formal look. Add a t-shirt underneath and pair with high tops for everyday casual chic. Dress up with strappy heels for the evening or flat sandals like me for hot summer days. Now I'm on a bit of a roll with summer dresses, I know, but it didn't stop there. Take a look at what I found recently for an incredibly affordable £31.20 to be precise. One very chic and timeless halter neck dress that's not only perfect for summer holidays, but could easily be a lovely little black dress at any time of year. Now, often when you spot bargains like this, there's some sort of catch. It's been made from polyester or it's only available in XXX small, but no, Oasis have done us proud. And this one has been made from viscose with just a tiny bit of elastin. Now I will admit the shape is not 100% perfect. I'd have liked an extra centimeter or two on the depth of that bust seam, but hey, for 31 pounds, 20, I can live with that. So like you'll have seen with this footage, you could wear this with the ties going straight up for a deep V look, do a wide cross at the front, or a loop cross looks really chic and stylish too. Now, some of you might remember that I did a video recently where I styled a different outfit with a collection of different handbags, all from the beautiful collection Demelier London. After that video, the brand very kindly got in touch and asked if I would like to choose my favorite handbag to keep. Well, that was a tough one because I wanted them all. But in the end, I decided to go with Lux Practicality with quite possibly the most stunning basket bag I have ever seen. Now, I didn't actually have this one before to be able to show you, but I think I had, in truth, lost my heart to it before I even filmed that lookbook. I think this leather strap detailing is hugely original. It's so beautifully made, and actually from a quality and practical point of view, I'm imagining that these leather straps will actually help the store bag keep its shape. Now this one is available in tan leather, black, and also a smaller version too if you prefer. But I'm definitely a go big or go home when it comes to store bags in summer, so this one is the perfect size for me. And now in this summer try-on haul to something that didn't quite work as I planned out. I was about to send this one back, but I thought I'd give you a quick peek first. I hadn't shopped at Warehouse for quite a long time actually, but I was hugely impressed with their new collection. They have some very chic sets, some great pops of colour, some great pieces for the office, but annoyingly, I didn't actually pick any of those. I picked this strappy halter neck top, and I have to say, it looks pretty awful on me. Now, in fairness to Warehouse, I think I've just got the wrong size. It's too baggy on me around the bust, so in actual fact, I should have sized down to a UK 8. What originally caught my eye was this top as a set with the skirt, which I thought looked absolutely beautiful. However, at the time I was shopping on Warehouse, it wasn't in stock. It's back in stock now, actually, and I do think that styled together as a set, it makes a really chic look. However, the top alone being a little big for me is just not working, which is a bit of a shame. If you do, however, like this set, I would recommend sizing down in the top portion at least and having a look at that midi skirt to go with it. Cohorts, of course, are a really easy way to instantly feel a little bit more polished and put together. And having been made from a blend of linen, I thought that would be perfect for the heat as well. Sadly, not to be for me this time, but I will be keeping an eye on their collection in future as I was really impressed with what they're creating right now. And that's it, my summer, try on haul for 2022 is complete. Hopefully you agree that there's lots of chic and timeless outfits out there at the moment and I really hope this video has given you some ideas and inspiration of how to style them together. Thank you as always for all of your support for my channel. I am hugely grateful for every like, every comment, every subscriber. You make this channel an absolute pleasure to create, so thank you. I will be back on Sunday with a new styling video, so hopefully you'll join me then. Have a wonderful week everyone, big hugs.